Okay, on the left-hand side, we have our traditional diatonic do-re-mi scale analysis spreadsheet, and on the right-hand side, we have a composition using it. Also on the left-hand side, we have our first pentatonic parallel custom scale analysis spreadsheet, and on the right side, we also have a composition using it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in vision and sound, part 38, clarity, possibility. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we are continuing to get used to this new computer, and in particular, we added a MIDI keyboard, well, we've, we've used the MIDI keyboard before, but we began using it on the new computer as well. So we've got our second camera. So this makes a lot of things to keep track of. Um, when we worked on the previous episode on what we called the Heart Riff, we said that that was from a song called Crazy on You by Heart, which is in A, which resonates with us. And then this time around, we did a Mozart riff, which is also resonates with us. So let's play for you this Mozart riff first. Wrong riff. This, this one. So what we like about this one is that we kind of wrote it from memory and humming it into our phone recorder. We played this clarinet concerto when we were in high school, and then re later researching, we found out that it was relatively famous, and it was written for a new clarinet that had been invented that had extra keys and all kind of fun stuff. The other thing, though, is it's in A, like we said before, and that was more memory reinforcing why we like A major, A minor. And you'll hear that you heard that big change over here where the mood changed from the kind of the light feel there. So that was fun transcribing that. Some other realizations. Um, we went and used our mobile laptop to go do some work, and we're getting ready to compose mobily at coffee shops again. And so we reflected that sh the, we shaped the gear with which we compose, so like this new computer that we keep talking about here. Uh, the, the MIDI keyboard itself is gear, and the gear that we use shapes how we compose. Um, and basically, we're thinking out loud on what to work on next, because this series has been going for about six months. So we did the Mozart riff series, and then we started a new one the pen, uh, using the pentatonic scale, and let's play that one for you. We're calling it the Possibility series, and it goes like this. So what we like about this is that we'd worked with this uh, 3663 five note minor, five note major, six note total scale before. We have several compositions in it over the last period of streaming. But now we use the MIDI keyboard, this thing here, 
what do I mean by this one? Uh, what I mean by that is this thing here. Yes, that one. So, um, I'm not sure you're seeing that. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, you can't see my cursor when I point it over there. Any event, um, like I said, we're getting used to this new setup. So this, we like the jazzy thing because we use the keyboard that has a built-in chord generator, but we programmed it so that it only played those six notes, which is what these white stickies are showing. Um, but it will generate chords uh, using only those notes that we wouldn't have thought of. So that's what these chords are. Nevertheless, in listening to this, we realize even this theme is, is a memory. Th um, sorry, that went too fast. It, we've heard that before, too. That's a memory thing. But it... It, it it emerged in our ears while we were dorking around with these chords. So again, memory is a major influence on composing, and these two pieces, even the event, uh, even having a custom scale that nobody ever composed in exactly before, uh, we kind of still our our memory shapes how we compose. I guess is the theme here. So our ideas for next time are to continue working with the possibility series. And then we also are updating our presentation on what is the metaverse, which we first did about a year ago. So we're updating that right now. And we've got some other presentations coming down the road. That shout outs to Silent Lurker and Steady Worker. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.